All right, good morning or good afternoon, class. Today, we're going to do some practice problems, four practice problems, in fact, on equations with variables on both sides. So, if you guys can, uh, copy these uh, four problems down and try them out for yourselves on a piece of paper on your notebook. Pause the video if you want and copy these down, try them out for yourself. And we are now going to work on these four problems. Okay, number one. Simple uh, concept stays the same. Move the x to one side, regular numbers, just push them off to the other side. We're just going to have a two-step equation at the very end. So, separate the problem, how we've been doing. We have this 2x, move it to the left, subtract 2x, one side, and cross it out. Then we'll, we don't have to deal with it. Remember what you do to one side, you do to the other as well. 5x minus 2x, you get 3x. You have this plus 3, move it to the other side. So you subtract 3 to one side, cross it off so you don't have to worry about it. Subtract 3 to the other side, we have 12 minus 3, you have 9. Now you have 3x equals to 9. You have multiplication problem, you do the opposite, which is division. Divide 3 to both sides. x equals 3. Simple as that. If you want to check it, you can plug it back into the very beginning. You have 5 times 3, which is 15. 15 plus 3 is 18. You have... 3 times 2, which is 6. 6 plus 12 is 18. And you see that both sides are equal. You can do that for any other problem to see if you're correct. All right. Now, this next problem, same thing. Separate the problem. Move the x to, to the left side. Subtract 3x. Cross it off. We don't need it. Subtract 3x to this side. 8x minus 3x. We have 5x here. We have this negative uh, minus 6 right here. Do the opposite. Opposite of subtraction is addition. Add 6 to one side, add 6 to the other. We have 9 plus 6, 15. We have the multiplication problem, 5x equals 15. Do the opposite, which is division. Divide 5 on both sides. Divide 5. 15 divided by 5, we get the final answer of x equals 3. Simple as that. All right. For number 3, uh, some negatives. Some negatives thrown into the mix for 3 and 4, but, you know, simple as that. If you guys can add and subtract, which is very important, you guys can do these problems very easily. All right, separate the problem. We have this negative 3x here. Do the opposite. If it's negative, we're going to add. So you add 3x to one side. What you do one side, you do the other. Add 3x to the other side as well. So 6x plus 3x equals 9x. We have this plus 4 right here. We subtract. Because we do the opposite, cross it off, we don't need it. Subtract 4 to the other side, negative 14 minus 4 would give you negative 18. The multiplication problem, so we do the opposite division, divide by 9, divide by 9. Negative 18 divided by 9 would give you the final answer, x equals negative 2. Simple as that. All right. For the last problem, many more negatives thrown into the mix, but simple as that, we're going to continue doing. Simple adding and subtracting. So we have this negative x, we do the opposite of negative or subtraction, whatever you like to call it, which is addition. Add x to one side, so cross it off, we don't need it. Add x to the other side, we have negative 5x plus 1x. Think of x, just 1x. So if you owe me $5, and then I give you a dollar, you still owe me $4. So you have negative 4x. You have this minus 2 here. We're going to add because we do the opposite. What you do to one side, you do, you do to the other. Add 2 to the other side. 14 plus 2 equals 16. You have negative 4x equals 16. Divide by negative 4 on both sides. 16 divided by negative 4 would give you the final answer. x equals negative 4. And there it is. The final answer. All right, so those are four practice problems that I hope you guys got correct. If not, you guys can rewind the video and check it out again to see what steps you're confused on or what you made a mistake on. And hopefully you guys can master this topic of equation variables on both sides because it's very important because you will see this in higher level math. And, you know, it's very important to get the basics down because you guys can master it and then be very good at math. Thank you.